These are my top five functions in DaVinci Resolve. These aren't necessarily hacks or secrets, but for me, someone who primarily goes in there and edits, does color grading, some of these things I was not aware of and discovering them really saved my workflow and made editing a lot of fun. Number one is going to be output blanking. What is output blanking? It's a fixed specific aspect ratio for your final project. Now to access output blanking, you wanna to go to the edit page. It won't show up on the media or the cut page. So go to edit, go to timeline, and go to output blanking. The other dropdown from output blanking gives you an option of aspect ratios. When I'm dealing with multiple display ratios, what I used to do was add a transform effect to it. Here's where this tool is useful. If I wanted to zoom in on my image, notice how the aspect ratio is not going to change. If you need to readjust the frame, it really helps. This could be huge if you're shooting an open gate and you want to have different display ratios to match other footage. It's very helpful. I never knew it was there. So if you did, you win. Now what's missing is the vertical crop. That is a timeline setting that you would just select the vertical aspect ratio to. That's a huge one to me. That's output cropping. Let's move on to number two. And that's gonna be the adjustment clip. Now this one is not really a secret. I do see a lot of people talking about this. So let's say I have this footage here and I want to maybe shift things a little bit left or right or maybe something got in frame that I wanted to crop out. Add an adjustment clip on top of the clip that you wanna change go into the inspector, make your crop, and then you can just copy and paste that adjustment clip over any of the other clips that you want. For color grading, let's say you just want a base grade or a temporary grade, put the adjustment clip over one of the clips and then do your color grade. By putting this adjustment clip that you've color graded over all your clips, you have a temporary grade. If you like it, that's great. If not, you don't have to go and erase all the different nodes. So basically, the way an adjustment clip is going to work is anything below that clip will be affected by any transitions, any effects that you throw into that adjustment clip. There's a lot more you can do with the adjustment clip, but it's really cool that you can make any of those changes. Next up is going to be the viewer overlay. And to access that, click on the bottom left icon below the viewer, and you'll see the submenu pop up. Now, a lot of these functions are in the inspector, but I want to address this particular function, which is annotations. And what annotations will allow you to do is to mark the video similar to a marker on your timeline. So for example, I can draw around this person here and what it's going to do is it's going to create a marker in my timeline and anything that I draw in this frame will not show up in the final rendered output. I can change the color of the markers, go into that marker and leave a note. That note could be for myself to maybe crop somebody out of the image the note could be for somebody who's doing your color grading, somebody who's doing your visual effects. If I put a marker in a timeline, I'm probably not going to see it when I have the viewer open. So by using the annotations, I can draw something to my attention so that when I come back to edit, I have that as a frame of reference. Next up is a feature in the color page and that is clip versus timeline. In the color page, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner you have by the inspector and where the nodes are, it says clips. And if you drop that down, you have the option for timeline. So where is this helpful? What does it do? Let's say all your footage was shot on the same camera and you want to apply a conversion LUT. Uh, in this case, I'm shooting on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. When you select timeline, you're gonna have to add a node. So it's either Alt S on a PC, Command S on, an, on a Mac. And what that's gonna do is add a node. So in this case, I'm going to add the conversion node, and that is going to be applied to all the clips in my timeline. If you go back to clips, you don't see that node that has that LUT on it, so you would have to go back to timeline to make any adjustments. It's important to understand that that node is going to be applied after your clip nodes. When you go back to clips, any adjustments that you make are going to happen before the timeline node. Where this is helpful is in the instance of this project where this entire footage was shot with the Osmo Pocket 3. I'm going for a normal look on this. I'm not going for any stylized look. So I would add the Rec 709 LUT under the timeline selection and then do all my corrections before it. I don't see myself using this that much, but it is helpful to know that it's there 
And if this is something that you're using and I'm missing something, please leave a comment. I'd love to know how this benefits your workflow. And lastly, this is something that I still forget about and I've known this for a long time, it can really speed up your workflow if you remember to do this. And that is the render fusion, render color output. So the easy way to do this is go into the color page, select all the clips, right click, and that way you can select render fusion output and render color cache output. There are other factors into the speed of your editing software, but this is definitely something that will help. There's a lot more than this, but for now, these are ones that I don't see. I mean, the adjustment clips I see people talking about a lot, but the output blanking, that's something that's, yeah, that I've been looking for. The dynamic framing, uh, you know, these are all good tools to have. So hopefully this helps if you're new to this. And if you're coming over from Final Cut, Welcome aboard, it's a, it's a good place to be. I'd love to know what are your favorite tools in DaVinci Resolve, especially ones that don't get talked about a lot. Leave me a comment, I will respond. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, thanks.